marvel at its magnificence and just at how amazing that is. And look at the quality of the stones. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? By the way, if you want the three stone ring that Judy was talking about, it is still available right here. We got a couple of sizes that are pretty limited, I think 11 and 12, but you can still find it if you want it to match back to the bracelet, which is pretty neat. Okay, coming up. In just a couple of moments, if you want the most affordable piece of the entire show, we're going to get to it later on in the show. We've got two hours tonight with Jennifer. If you've just tuned in, this is Chaco Canyon. All the jewelry proudly made by Native Americans here in the United States. Uh, all handcrafted. Just beautiful workmanship. This is a stunning ring. I love the fact it's east-west. It's just a beautiful, smooth cabochon of turquoise. And it's on sale for the very first time with for flex pays. So we're going to get to that a little later. I Do I still have 5 through 12? Good. I still have all sizes. We have all sizes available in this and it will indeed be coming up in just a bit. But just so you'll know, I've got dragonflies coming up. We've got little flowers coming up. I've got a lot of different options and I have a bolo, which I have never done on the air. <laughs> I am very happy about that, by the way. <laughs> Look how cute this is. And there's like 30 of them. Look how cool that is. Father's Day. Okay, if you're really being generous, get dad this bracelet. If he loves turquoise, like hands down, get dad this bracelet. But I love the fact we got a bolo. And girls can wear this too. I think it'd be really cute with a white blouse. Be absolutely fantastic. Isn't that neat? 30 of these coming up. Do you want to see it real quick? There it is. We'll show you it later. <laughs> All right, Jennifer, you ready? Yes. We're gonna do a little cluster earrings now. These are very limited. We do not have a lot of them. They are very limited and we have two different options. Now this is really cool. One's gonna be a full turquoise a cluster and the other one's gonna be turquoise and it has Swiss blue topaz mixed in at the very top and the very bottom of the earrings. Now these are HSN price. We also have four flex and please note, we have a lot of free shipping because it's over for $99, and today, if you hit $99 or more, uh, all of your fashions, your jewelry, your footwear, your accessories, and beauty, right? We've included beauty on that. We'll ship for free. So if you saw stuff with Amy earlier or Things Tonight or Tony's Shoes, get to $99 or more. And then, of course, all that's going to ship for free. All right. You ready to move into hour number two? Yes. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about the cluster earrings. Now, just FYI, I have 34. This is going to be a short presentation of the blue topaz. And I have eight of the Kingman earrings. <laughs> really limited quantity. But what do we love about this? I love these because these are, are basically the, the epitome of the Navajo silversmithing um, jewelry. Uh, what is What they use this uh, cluster design is, and a lot of their jewelry making, like I said, is that it's, it represents family. And this, <clears throat> excuse me, the center stone represents the matriarch or the patriarch of the family, which binds them all together. And so when you see that, you're gonna see that flower look, that flower effect on it. And uh, especially you're gonna see the, um, the stones that we have on there, that they, they we're incorporating new stones within our jewelry making. And so when you see this, a lot of this is gonna pertain to water and uh, the sky as well. Really pretty. And I love that contrast mm -hmm. of the opaque with the semi-transparent, or the transparent. I think there's something so pretty about it, especially in this set. You know, adding just that little bit of extra sparkle with it. Yeah. Are you finding that a lot of the artisans are enjoying working with stones outside of just traditional turquoise or highlight or things like that? Yes, and just seeing how their designs come out. Uh, they've seen some artisans have their some pictures that were cropped together, or how one would, you know, come together with another design, or either if not, uh, uh, sketch their own designs and just uh, paint little pictures on them and then you know get that inspiration from there. It's pretty. It's mm -hmm. very pretty too. Do you find that they're working with other stones now more and more? Uh, they're venturing out. It's I mean it's 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 tough to venture away from that uh, uh, the basic turquoise that they have mm -hmm. and the green turquoise and just having the garnet in it or the topaz or the multi-colored uh, stones that we would have in our different jewelry. Um, it's just it's on certain occasions that they would do that where if they have the rough with them too as well. Um, and again, two different choices, but these are really limited and they're not going to last very long. I have how many left in the Kingman? There can't be too many. <laughs> Is it last call in both sty uh, styles? Is it last call in both uh, colors? Okay, last call on both colors. 
We're gonna be stamping that sold out here in just a second and um, just stay right there. In fact, it's not gonna last very long. All right, gotta show you the bolo. In fact, I'm gonna put it on really quick. Can I wear it? We have 30, that's it. There's 30 of you to ever have this. Now, please think of the guys in your life. But I also think this looks fabulous on gals and you can adjust it too. I'm gonna try to slide it up, there we go. But I think this is really fun. In fact, you wanna do something really cool instead of wearing it traditional. This is really well made. <laughs> <laughs> Well, once you, it'll loosen up, but how fun is that? Now, come on, look at that, how cute. And again, when you get it at home, this is gonna relax a little bit as you wear it, but look at that. And that's all hand braided, right? It is, and especially when you look at the, the turquoise, the, is this that? is made by Sarah Yazi, and one of our newer artisans, and um, so she's really outdone herself with this, with the unisex bolo tie. Super uh -huh. cool, totally unisex. And how fun will that be? Oh my gosh, you could wear it over a blouse. A guy could obviously wear it. You can wear it underneath a V-neck. Do I have it right? Is it sitting right? It's sitting right, it's just this. Oh, thank you. Oh, what is that little thing? Oh, what is that? <laughs> oh, gotcha. Okay. So it's available. It's $284.90. Originally, that was $360. And that is, let's see if I get it right. Stand by. Stand by. Lowest price we've ever done. Ooh, that is a super, super price on that. And there's less than 30 available. So good time to pick it up. I love, 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 love the next <laughs> item. Uh, it's so cute because this is a dragonfly. So if you love the critters, we've got this beautiful dragonfly with the most amazing inlay on this. Wow. And this is a brooch, but it's also a pin. So if you want to wear it as Jennifer's doing, or if you want to wear it as a brooch, you've got two options with it. There are 40 ear rings available and we both no you don't have money of it but I put them on because I just think they are so so cute so what's the story behind the dragonfly the artist in here he's a Zuni artist I we're venturing out into the Zuni Pueblo out in New Mexico and bringing in more newer artisans that I mean, we bring to HSN and he's one of them and it's Angus I hope I say this right Ahayate and uh, the dragonfly is a protector of the water and is held as a very sacred being Whenever you're next to water, you'll see dragonflies and they're either on the river or flying around and they're protecting the water that they say in. If you see dragonflies flying together, that means they're, they're mates and they mate for life. And um, if you're out in the desert and you feel that you're getting your loss, you need water and you see dragonflies around, you would follow it and it would lead you to water. Oh, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And I love the inlay work. Let's talk a little bit about inlay because that has been a time-honored tradition in Native American jewelry making. Oh yes, and especially for the Zuni people, they're very well known for their inlay work. And um, it's, uh, it's, they're very well made, especially with the little silver, little slivers of silver that they have between each and every piece of stone that they have there. and. Um, so, but like if you were to pop up a stone, it'd be basically throw the whole thing off. It's like a puzzle, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's a very complicated puzzle. And if you go in really tight, I don't know, maybe we can do it on the large dragonfly, but look how much fun that is. But those are all individual pieces that have to be shaped. And then you have to remember, not only are they rectangles, they have to be curved on the top, and they also have to fit in a graduating design. You can see mm -hmm. the, it gets, you know, here, and then it's gotta get a little bigger and then it's gotta go to this little small piece. And so it's like a very intricate puzzle to make all those little pieces fit together. I do wanna turn it over so you guys can see the back because it's also a brooch. So if you wanna wear it on a hat or you wanna put it on a turtleneck or you wanna wear it as a pendant, you can. Now, if you missed last hour, I do wanna mention the liquid silver necklaces. We have an 18 inch and a 24 inch option. The price on these are shocking to me. They're $30 and $34 and some change. So I do have both sets. We do not have a lot of these, but you'll see we go back to this necklace uh, a couple times throughout the show tonight because it works back excuse me, so nicely to the pendants. So we do have these still available if you'd like them. And they're little teeny tubes of sterling that they're hand strung. It is a triple, yeah, triple strung. And they just literally puddle like liquid. They're so fluid. And I think I've always loved, love liquid silver. It just puddles up and it's just delicious to have on. But it really shows off your pendants beautifully. Georgia in Alabama, welcome. You're on with Jennifer and Suzanne. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Suzanne. I love you. <laughs> I love you, too. Thank you. <laughs> yes, Welcome. I, I love watching you at night. So. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank and, you, Jennifer. Uh, I love, love, love all the turquoise. I have a lot of pieces already, but uh, tonight something really special caught my eye. 
My husband is a, a bolo wearer. Uh oh. He wears the bolo ties a lot. Yeah. But we have a little something extra coming up here in about a week. Will be our 50th wedding anniversary. Oh, wow. happy anniversary! <laughs> so wow. I ordered him the turquoise bolo tie for oh. his anniversary. So he'll love it. And you know what, Georgia? Um, I'm glad you didn't wait because there's only like maybe 20 left. These are almost gone. I heard you. I heard you say we only have 30. And 30. I said no, no, that can't happen. I can't <laughs> have it. I got <laughs> oh, well, he's going to love this to add to his collection. That's wonderful. Have you ever and tried he, the... He does have a collection, and uh, I thought, I wear a lot of turquoise. I am the turquoise lover, and he's got where he'd say, you know, I need to get me something turquoise, and I thought, okay, honey, you got it. <laughs> oh, and thus, and thus you've been married for 50 years. <laughs> 50 years. Oh, congratulations. He's 74, he's 74 and I'm 70, oh. and... Uh, Nobody, very young. Nobody would, nobody would think that. You <laughs> no, know? you sound like a very young 70. I would never have guessed that by your voice. Well, my daughter-in-law says, Mom, you don't act 70. And I said, I don't know how you're supposed to act when you're 70. <laughs> <laughs> well, sage advice, Georgia. Well, um, happy anniversary. Thank you. Yeah, and thank blessings so to much. both of you. And I'm sure he's going to love that. I'm glad you got in for it before it's gone. But thank you, Georgia. Thank you. Have a good night. She's so cute. <laughs> yeah. She's got a lot of energy, too. <laughs> All right, I've got an update. There's 20 earrings left in the, in the pen. I have 50 pendants. I started with 80. So, again, very limited. Let's just kind of cover this real quick. Brand new, first time on the air. This is from the Zuni, right? Yes. Zuni tribe. Uh, Angus Ahiate. He's in his 30s, and he's well known for his inlay work, especially for the dragonflies. Beautiful. And I love how he did just a pop of the turquoise on the outside and then filled in the inside of the uh, dragonfly with turquoise. On this as well, you are getting jet, coral, spiny oyster shells on here too. And, oh wait, by the way, dun -da -da, I even had a note on this. This is Sleeping Beauty turquoise. When you <laughs> see the turquoise inside here, that is some of the most beloved and coveted and collected turquoise in the world. That is indeed genuine Sleeping Beauty turquoise. That's why that blue looks like it's almost glowing and it just really pops. But again, that spiny oyster that he used, he also used jet in there as well and we have coral in that design isn't that neat it's just again it's very different it's really neat it's so much fun to wear it's you know really it's something that becomes a conversation starter too when you're wearing these dragonflies you can't help but be happy right because i just think they're i think i love i'm always fascinated by butterflies and dragonflies dragonflies yeah, are so cool especially they're in spring they're they're a bringer of uh, good luck and or either uh, they're sending a, someone sending you a message too as well is it really is that mm -hmm. what it is considered yes oh that's easy a dragonfly <laughs> somebody's sending you a message but just really great little earrings and just fun to wear and by the way it's all sterling silver and they're a good size but they're not heavy which i find to be really interesting in that too and again there's all that gorgeous sterling okay so this cuff i remember when you and i first had it on the air <laughs> and i think it's amazing i think it's just a magnificent and very complicated piece so here's your first look at it well actually the second look if you saw it before tonight is one hundred dollars off and it's called the needlepoint cuff it's the first time that it's one hundred dollars in its savings it uh, basically is adjustable but approximately five to six half an inch wrist lowest price now we've ever offered we also have this on five flex pays and that is a traditional piece but it's truly truly magnificent and the workmanship in there is so difficult i just can't imagine even cutting and or setting those stones i just and i can't even imagine doing the craftsmanship of the surround of the stone that would be very difficult to do by hand we'll tell you the story behind it jennifer will coming up in just a few <laughs> minutes also don't forget our bolo how many bolos do i have left can't be many there is there's 19 left so uh, georgia i'm glad you got it for your husband for your anniversary there are 19 of my necklaces left that i'm wearing right now all right miss jennifer you ready to move on yep 
Okay, so don't forget, free shipping on all fashion, beauty, and jewelry items, which includes your footwear. If you haven't seen our today's special, you can go to hsn.com. It'll be right smack on the front page. And why is that important? Because uh, you'll get a look at what Tony Little has created. It is his famous, famous... Um, sandals his health sandals and you get a set of two so if you haven't seen our today's special which is included in that shipping deal uh, you can check it out if you go to dot com okay so we have talked about the dragonfly and those are almost gone now we're moving on to this next collection and there's a couple pieces included we have the ring and we have the cuff available so the ring and the cuff um, again obviously no two will be alike but these are a perfect five star and there's nine perfect reviews and I loved one of them Jennifer it just said absolutely gorgeous <laughs> and I get it I understand that for sure this is really a pretty pretty piece so how would you best describe and who is the artisan behind this do you have artisans different artisans that work done uh, these uh these collaborations like uh, Loretta Del Garito, you have Mike Smith, uh, who are master silversmiths. And um, when you see pieces like this, you're gonna wonder how they had graduated from being uh, you know, a starter person to for making uh, stars and little silver, uh, silver point balls to soldering to what they do now. And especially what comes out of their minds, these beautiful pieces that really stand out to you know, a lot of the HSN customers out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because there's mm -hmm. very signature Yes. When we see the stars, that's a very signature look. And again, this is a Kingman Turquoise that you're looking at. Um, the size of the ring, we have 5 through 12. I have 280 rings. Probably not that many now, but I started with 280. In this magnificent cuff, I have 160 cuffs, small, medium, medium, large. So tell us the story behind the making of the stars. For the stars, uh, there's a story about a, a, a coyote a long time ago, and um, he was sitting around uh, the, a bunch of other animals. Grandfather Bear was telling a story, and so he sat the different animals on a, a big uh, a woven rug, and so he was trying to tell them about their, their past and um, what's going to become of them in their future. And um, the coyote was just restless. He, he didn't want to hear it. He wanted to go out and do his thing. and he was, you know, sensing other things that were coming that he wanted to do. And um, so what he had done just to hurry up the story was that um, he went behind the bear and he uh, went and grabbed the rug and pulled the rug out of, from, uh, from under everybody. <laughs> so he pulled it so hard that all the animals flew into the air and they became stars. <laughs> and so, <laughs> so... That's a great story. They, um, they say that you know, their ancestors come from the stars. And so when you look up and you think about someone who's gone before, you know, you see different um, constellations that are out there and those were their, your ancestors that were for their, from there before. Oh, that's really neat. <laughs> that's a great story. I love that. And you were saying earlier that is the star shape one of the first ones that a new silversmith will start yes, learning on because they say that's one of the hardest because you have to hammer it the exact uh, moment to get to get it flat and it's hard to solder onto the plate you know after it's done otherwise if you don't get it right that it's just going to pop off or it's going to throw off the whole uh, situation that is on the, the silver plate oh gotcha yes. okay isn't that interesting too <laughs> and again i want you to see the size on this i'm i'll bring out the ruler for the ring very comfortable understand that i think that's really important because sometimes when you see it like look at this ring it's it's fantastic right and you think oh it's a big ring and it is it's knuckle to knuckle there's no doubt about it but it's really easy to wear you could be on a computer all day you could be typing all day we come in at about an inch from end to end and going in the opposite direction, we're at about uh, three quarters of an inch. Then when I add in the cuff, if you can swing it, the cuff is available in two sizes. The small medium is five and a half to six and a quarter. The medium large is six and a half to seven and a quarter. This is a perfect five star, nine perfect five star reviews on there. So, and, and, and you know, when you think about jewelry and you think about pieces that people are buying on television and then or on the computer and then getting them at home you know it's really I think shocking because you know, people are picky we all are right but the fact that this is how well this is made and this is how much it's loved as a matter of fact I love this one gal she said it she has um she goes she has a very petite hand and she said it's a huge ring 
on her petite hand. And she says, that's the style and I don't mind it. I, she really loved it. So if you are a more petite girl, I don't think fear, don't fear wearing a substantial ring. Also, I loved this comment. She said, Chaco Canyon never skimps on their jewelry, unlike so many jewelers today. <laughs> True, right? Mm -hmm. Can you kind of elaborate on that too, what people should expect if they're buying this for the first time? Because you know, the silver is gonna be substantial, it's gonna be thick, you're gonna hear it. And like I said before, you're gonna hear that big knocking on it. And uh, for the stones too as well, we try to uh, get the best stones that we have and use it only for HSN customers and especially the way that it is made. Uh, where uh, the artisans, again, they, it's their livelihood, so they don't want to mess with anything that will mess with their livelihood, you know, because they're feeding their families, they're trying to uh, continue the traditional uh, ways of silversmithing, and so, uh, Again, this is uh, something that they put their heart and soul into. Yeah, and guys, this is a customer pick. If you'd like to read the reviews, you can check them out on .com. Another one said, truly a work of art. Another gal said, amazing value. It, it really is. I mean, there's a lot of silver that's out there. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of good turquoise and silver that's out there, and certainly a lot of it you have to be careful of. It's, they could say it's turquoise, and then you're fooled, and it's not turquoise. One of the most interesting stories I've ever heard was with Jay, and I know you do Jay King, and Jay does a lot of Southwestern-inspired jewelry. He said, Miss Colleen Lopez, which is another host here at HSN, brought into him a piece of turquoise, this necklace she had. She spent a fortune on it. And she was proudly showing it to him. And he said, I hate to tell you, but it's not real turquoise. And I mean, can oh, you God. imagine? I mean, and you know, here at HSN, we, we pretty much, those of us who do jewelry, we kind of know our jewelry. But you know, even some of the very best can be fooled. And you really need to know who your source is. And you know when you're shopping with Jennifer and Chaco Canyon, that what we say on the air and what she shares with us is absolutely the way it's got to be. And please, be careful of that. Don't spend your money. You can spend a whole lot more to get a beautiful ring like this. And unfortunately, it might not be turquoise, but we can tell you for sure that is what you're getting. And it is really a neat piece to add to your collection. Do we want to mention the cuff real quick? Oh, we're going to do it in just a second. Okay, so we're gonna do the cuff in just a second because it's amazing and I really am excited about this design. But get to buy my bolo real quick. It's gonna be here and it's gonna be gone in just a second. You know what, Dustin, I'm gonna hold it hopefully really still so you guys can see just how pretty. Look at the workmanship here. I love all the single set stones. I love this little flange on the bottom and the, the little flange on the top. And then when you turn it sideways, you can see, isn't that beautiful? And of course, this is all hand uh, braided on the roping, and one thing you might not have seen, because it's down below here, is I love these two little, oh, sorry guys, two little sterling silver end caps that are also stamped. That's just amazing. Those are all handcrafted. Imagine taking a flat piece of silver and you gotta end up being a long tube that's gonna hold these ends together. <laughs> so this slides up and down, it fits basically everybody. I also 100% say men can wear it and certainly women can wear it. And think Father's Day too. If you wanna, are we at an anniversary? Somebody bought it a moment <laughs> ago for her their 50th anniversary for her husband, which I thought was pretty special. Okay, so we have two sizes in the cuff. Just give you a little heads up. One is a small medium, which is five and a half to six six and a quarter. The other is medium large, which is six and a half to seven and a quarter. I have less than, uh, in the medium large, that's the most limited. I only have about 150 cuffs now remaining. So we've talked about the stone itself and that's big, beautiful cabochon. We talked about the stars. We talked about that. I'm really fascinated by this on the side because it's very dimensional. Uh, when you, when you, okay. Have you ever gone to, uh, like either a river or a stream and you see the rocks that are sitting in between the water and sometimes you see the white hues of the of the water kind of make that swooshy look to it. it that's where you get the inspiration from. Oh, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I love it too. And it almost looks like river stones, river yes. rocks, because it's very smooth. Mm -hmm. And I love this. When you see it sideways, it's very different. It almost is like, and obviously it's been created and then placed onto the bottom of the, of the bracelet, but look how neat that is and how dimensional it is. And we talk about the one reviewer said it's truly a work of art. Imagine making that out and you mean soldering it together and just kind of piecing each and every uh, aspect of the silver and the, the, the 
the star shapes and especially shaping the stone um, just to get this very smooth uh, pillowy effect to it. Now in this case, was it multiple artists who did this? Yes. Okay, and, and is there some who just say, we're gonna work in silver, some are just cutting the cabochons, how some does that work? Some who are the masters, the masters, the, the ultimate people. <laughs> they, um, what they do is they uh, they teach the, the younger uh, artisans, and like I said before, Loretta Del Garrido, Mike Smith. Mike Smith's well known for his uh, stamp work. Loretta's known for her uh, master craftsmanship, that, what you see here. And uh, so they're just like one mind coming together and they see this one, uh, this one effect, and so this is what oh. come, becomes of it. Wow, look at that. So what is that, a, a hand saw, right? So it's a saw? Oh, it's a wire. It's a piece of wire that they use, and my fingers just hurt just looking at that. <laughs> um, I've, I've asked, oh, I've asked them, you know, have you cut yourself? And they're like, oh, yeah, we've cut ourselves one too many times, but it only takes that one time for them to do that. So what are they doing here? Because what they're doing is they're soldering the piece together and just uh, uh, piece by piece. And oh. so this is the end effect up to it. That is incredible. That's really something magnificent. So what that pilled effect that you see there, it's, it's, it was hand cut. Right here. Yes. Yeah, they, they had to go all cut mm -hmm. that out. And then they, then they, then they uh, even curving it, yeah. I'd be so freaked out just to have to make that piece go like this. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, please, I like, yeah. yeah, hope it works. And then here's what's really interesting. If you look <laughs> at it, imagine cutting one single stone and like, look at the bezel on there. Let's, can you guys get dust any closer? Like how, how crazy is that? Most people would miss saw that. sawtooth bezel on there. Yeah, isn't yes. that beautiful little sawtooth on there, which mm -hmm. again is all handcrafted. But that is such intricate, beautiful workmanship. And then obviously they've got a huge stone they're working up. And that's a really big cab that they put inside there. So that is, oh, that's such a nice shot too. Let's talk a little bit about oxidation. Why is it used so often in Native American jewelry? Uh, again, for that shadow effect, um, that is used for, uh, like, uh, I, like I was told, it was supposed to be someone that's behind you, something, someone that was supposed to protect you all the time. Uh, that person, when you look back, you know, you won't be alone. Uh, your shadow will always be with you, and so a lot of that's inserted to uh, their their silversmithing effect. It's beautiful, mm -hmm. and it also, I think, just highlights the design even better. Yes. I mean, it's a, a secondary thought probably to the concept, but it just really makes. It, I guess it makes the jewelry have an instantly vintage look. Yes. Like it has been passed down from generation to generation. Because you have, the, the majority of the time, you have that really high polished look, but it, as it ages, it gets more of a, a, a ancient effect to it, but yet it's yeah. so beautiful too as well. It is. Yeah. It's, it's like wine and all of us, <laughs> it is better with age. <laughs> all right, two sizes, which is really unusual for us to have both sizes, but we do. I'm going to pop just to show you the inside as well because it's so important. I mean, it's almost like making one, two, five bracelets. One, two, three. Yeah, five bracelets, right? Five single bracelets which you'd spend a lot on just a single bracelet, put them all together, make the top piece, the cabochon, add all the details to it. And again, this is literally a mobile work of art. And we can spend a lot of money on pictures and stick them on a wall, and you only see them when you go to your house, or you can literally support beautiful Native American artists and support their families by owning some of the Chaco Canyon jewelry. And you too are getting treated to some of the most special jewelry literally in the world. It's magnificent. Okay, so we're gonna wrap up on that one, guys. I only have a couple of dozen in each size of the cuff before that will be sold out. And we have five flex pays available tonight. Of course, because it's more than $99, it's free shipping. I got to remind the Dragonfly, are the earrings still available? Oh, I got to take them off. Oh, okay, I'll take these off. Okay. So what we're down to is just that beautiful pendant. It's also a brooch, so you can wear it as a pin if you'd like to. Excuse me. Um, it is uh, $149.98. Uh, we also have four flex available, and I'll turn it over so you can see it in case you missed out. And that is all inlay work with the sterling silver. So just a very complicated, beautiful design uh, from a Zuni artisan. Uh, and by the way, Sleeping Beauty. Oh gosh, I can't forget to say that because that's a big deal, right? <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. That's that's genuine Sleeping Beauty turquoise, and you do not see Sleeping Beauty very often. Why is that? Because the Sleeping Beauty mine's closed. 
there's none. It's so sad too, because it's, it's truly what every turquoise piece in the world wants to be is a Sleeping Beauty piece. So it's neat, there's some relics of that still floating around out there, you know? Oh yes, yes, yes especially in glow. Mm -hmm. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. All right, we're going to talk about my bolo. It's still available. Okay, guys, this is going to be a really quick one. If you're feeling guilty because you are treating yourself to lots of turquoise, or you just want something really different, because I think men and women can wear this easily, we have a bolo, and I've never, ever, ever in two different networks, our sister network I used to work at, and here, I've never offered a bolo. And I used to do a lot of turquoise shows when I was back at uh, QVC. So here we go. In fact, that's one of my, some of my favorite shows to do are these wonderful turquoise um, events with Native American designers. Anyway, this is our one and only bolo, sale price. We had a gal last hour who was celebrating their 50th anniversary. Her name was Carolyn? No, Georgia. Georgia. <laughs> Georgia was celebrating the 50th anniversary, and she has a whole lot of turquoise, and her hubby said, well, I like bolos. I want some turquoise, and so she bought this for him. We we're down to the last maybe dozen. How many do I have left, um, uh, Rick? I do have a dozen. I go right on there. Okay, because there's only a dozen left, can you describe this for us? <laughs> <laughs> the artist in here, her name is Sari Yazi, and she is one of our newer artisans that we have, and this is a, a, a one of her first few pieces that we brought to HSN, especially for the bolo tie. It's being a, a, a new item for us, and um, we are welcoming it for the men and the women, and so it'd be a great a uh, couple piece to have. I love it. <laughs> I actually love it for the gals. Like, I yes. guess, plus also what you can do, hey Jerry, if you can have Oni really pull it up high, because it could really be very hip looking. Like I think when you see bolos, we a lot of times think of guys, and we think of a very traditional kind of Western look, or obviously Southwestern look. But I think you could really wear this a little more edgy, almost like a choker with it hanging down. I know Jerry's gonna do that for us too. Father's Day, lowest price ever. There's 10 left. I started out with 30, we don't have a lot. And you'll see it on, or, or, or see here, or, um, I did, am I saying it right? I am saying it right, right? Or she, thank you, yeah, or she. Sorry, or she, <laughs> you look gorgeous. Oh, I love that. She could even go tighter too, but isn't that kind of gives it a more modern look, doesn't it? Yes, more like a business look. For yeah, it. isn't that funny? <laughs> but I can see this around a blouse, how beautiful on a turtleneck. You can wear it with a white tee and just a little cute pair of jeans would be fantastic. You know, if you if you love wearing your cowboy boots and your Western belt, that's fantastic to wear more traditional. But I think it's kind of can be a little edgier for a more modern and a more youthful look, to be honest. Um, now this comes in at 21 inches long. You have uh, Kingman turquoise, obviously in the center and all the way around the exterior of this. And I'll turn it sideways so you can see the mechanism. It's pretty neat. I mean, it's just back there in the back and this is strung through. And this is actually braided, correct? Yes. Yeah, it's beautiful, yes. really pretty. And then there are two big handmade sterling silver stamped end caps on the end of it. So isn't that just pretty, pretty, pretty? <laughs> I think it's because it's totally different, right? <laughs> okay, East-West Ring. My ring, coming up. You guys are loving this one. It is the most affordable piece in our two hours tonight together uh, with Jennifer. Really pretty. All right, guess what? We're not even gonna get to five and 12 by the time we finally get to this item. We're gonna talk about it maybe in about 15 minutes or so. Five and 12 now, already last call. Just four flex, just a really neat design. It's almost, you know, reminds you of looking, if you're, have you ever seen the pictures when you're from space, when the astronauts are up there and they shoot the earth? Yes. It kind of reminds you of that encapsulated in this pretty little design. Um, it's an oval shape, but it is east-west. And five and 12 are almost completely sold out. They might not make it to the full presentation. So I want to give you one more look on that before those two sizes are gone. What am I doing next? Oh, the needle point. Okay, here we go. Let me find it. Yeah, we're doing the cuff. I'm finding it. I've got it right here. Okay. So I remember when you and I first did this one. <laughs> we launched it. And tonight, we just have a teeny little handful left, and it is the lowest price we've ever offered at $100 off. This isn't $5 or $10, which is kind of lame -o. This is $100 off, so we're from $399.90 to $299. The appraised value is over $600, and I think that's very conservative. If you've ever been to the Southwest to, say, Santa Fe, this would not be... $600 would be a lot more than that. Anyway, a lowest price we've ever done. And again, you can adjust this a bit, but approximately five to six and a half inch wrist. So this is one amazing piece. <laughs> it's so complicated. It is, and especially for the way it is made, uh, the 
for the artisans out in the Zuni Pueblo area, if they're like truly the masters, a lot of them can actually uh, break the turquoise with their, their fingernails and wow. get the correct uh, incision on it. And You're kidding me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, <laughs> they're that skilled. They're that skilled and especially the way this looks and the, the way how fragile it is, turquoise, before you you know, get it all set in and get everything uh, said and done. Just imagine someone doing that and uh, setting this whole piece into their home. I can't imagine it. No. I cannot imagine that, honestly. <laughs> so let's begin on the outside because there's just so much to this piece. Yes. Um, it is a very traditional look, actually, but I love the fact that we start off with, with almost think of it like um, looking at the top of a really exquisite wedding cake. Yes. If you're looking top down. Oh, do we have an update? Is my bolo gone? Oh, I have to take it off. Darn, I was totally rocking it. <laughs> okay, I'll put another necklace on. Twist my arm. I'll tell you what, oh, another turquoise piece. Ow, ow. Okay, so think about a cake, a wedding, a really elaborate wedding cake. And think about it if you're on top of the cake looking straight down on it. That's where I really want you to kind of envision this. It's layer upon layer upon layer layer, 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 layer. And then of course the outer areas. Just really so it's very hard ornate. to make. <laughs> <laughs> so you can just imagine one person you know, sitting there making this piece, uh, mm. crafting each and every turquoise piece together by hand, hand soldering, hand cut, and especially the way the twisted bezel is around uh, each, each layer. The twisted bezel is said to have uh, to bind the wearer and the maker together because their souls have been put, in, put into it. And so when you see a piece like this, you're gonna actually be mesmerized by it and those by those around you too as well. It's really, it is, it's, it's very, it's very memorable. It's, mm -hmm. it's so distinct and so different. And you were saying earlier, talk a little bit about the tradition of jewelry making with the Zuni tribe. Um, they're known for this very intricate work, correct? Yes, um, the way they do their work, especially for the needlepoint, they're, they're known for their pottery, they're known for their jewelry making, uh, for uh, just, uh, uh, just the hard things of jewelry, the hard, the way they make their jewelry like this. And especially the way it's the very, uh, the way they make it. And um, uh, I've said that they've tried, they've done it before with uh, with people uh, cutting it with their fingernails. Like, And um, so I can't imagine someone doing this uh, with uh, their fingernail or if not handcrafting a piece of jewelry like this. It's just, I mean, and I want you to see, I mean, um, gosh, I wish I had something can compare it to like, but you have to understand, that is just a sliver, sl teeny, teeny, teeny sliver of turquoise. <laughs> and to be able to, to be able to not only to break it or cut it or however they do it, and then they hand set them. And obviously, they're making this sawtooth setting for each of those little teeny pieces. Yes. There's a lot of patience and there's an immense amount of skill. I'll be honest with you, it's one thing to set. It's still very difficult to set a big cabochon, but it's a little easier to set one big cabochon. But to be able to do this wildly intricate work, it takes such skill. <laughs> I mean, oh my gosh, from, from just my very elementary understanding of jewelry making, just setting each and creating just one of these bezels, just a sink, don't forget about the dot, forget about this archway right here, everything else, but just to create that little teeny bezel and to facet or cut a stone to fit or break or however they do it inside there and then set them. Oh, it's my really, oh, I just, I can't <laughs> imagine. But you know, that's how skilled they are. If yeah. they can take a little stone and go, and if it's a perfect size and then do that over and over and over again. Um, why do you think is it the area they live in? Is it the, the tradition they it's carry the on that they can do this kind of intricate work? Yes, and especially with the, how detailed they are with their uh, with their rug work, with their pottery. I was going to say uh, weaving. Are they, yes. are they incredible weavers? Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. are too as well. I and bet. Um, especially for jewelry making and basket making. Uh, so you have to be very... Um, patient and you, you, uh, especially with your elders teaching you your culture and you wanting to keep that alive. And especially with something like this, you know, it's very, like I said, ornate, you have to keep that patience within you. That's great. Mm -hmm. um, Trisha, if you can stay right there, I'm gonna get to your phone call, Trisha, in Nebraska, do not hang up. We will chat with you in one second. Stay also right there, $100 off. We've never had a better opportunity. This is over a $600 bracelet at $299.90 and it's a showpiece. 
piece. You know, it's one of those pieces that you will proudly wear, very, very traditional, very, it's just gorgeous. It's it's <laughs> it's really, that is a magnificent work of art, and that's a very difficult piece Keep to Keep it create. in a box, glass box. Yeah, just don't, don't ever yeah. wear it. Don't ever touch it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> wear it, enjoy it. Oh, by the way, you know something else that I noted that I never knew this, and we've worked together for a long time, and I actually wrote it down to get it straight. Here you go, you ready for this? Trisha, hang on. Do you know, with your silver and gem jewelry, oh wait, hold on, no wait, right, oh here it is. Their customer service is so good, I actually found this out, that if you have any problem at all, they will fix it for free. All you do is pay it to ship at Chaco Canyon, and they will pay it to ship, they will pay the shipment back to you. So that's another thing I think it's wonderful, and yes. I, I, we don't bring it up enough. We should actually talk about it all the time. <laughs> but if you're shopping with us and you're saying, okay, you know, I'm gonna drop, you know, $300, $400, they will fix your piece for free. All you do is pay to ship it out, and they will pay the cost to ship it back to you. And they do that for every piece they own, which are, that you own from them. And I think that's another way to feel very comfortable and secure shopping with us for Chaco Canyon. By the way, don't forget about our HSN card. If you're shopping with us for the first time, you get $10 off. It's our way of saying thank you for shopping with us. But what's really cool, it's not just that. It's all the neat things that you now have access to that nobody else has access to when you have our card. To find out, you got to get the card. And to get the card, you can apply on hsn.com. All right, my earrings. Is this the last little look at them, Rick? This is it. These are so cool i love these all right so we have the ceremonial turquoise and we have the kingman turquoise there's your green there's your blue turquoise these are garnets at the top all done of course in sterling silver so these are about gone so we will not have a long time to talk about them but can you briefly tell us the story yes the artist in here is Irvin sosi uh he has been honed in on his skills by Emerson Del Garrido, by Mike Smith. Uh, they have uh, taught him uh, their ways of making jewelry and um, this is what his output is for HSN, the way he makes, the way he's starting out with his jewelry making. He's been with us for a while too Oh, well. yeah, it's neat. It's mm -hmm. And I like it because for me, this is a very fresh approach to traditional Native American yes. jewelry. Um, there, you can see the link down is about two and a half inches. We go across the front. That's from the bail, uh, from the hook all the way down, uh, is a little over a half an inch. Um, but there is a little bit of symbolism that you were sharing with us earlier on these two. Yes, and a lot of these uh, these earrings, especially for ceremonial jewelry, it's made for uh, the, the certain times of the year for um, spring, winter, summer, fall. They have different ceremonies during certain times that pertain to either uh, growing up crops for uh, the uh, the ceremonial uh, times of womanhood for uh, for praying for different types of seasons that'll come and nourish their crops. And so seeing a, a something like this, especially with the garnet in it, for the Navajo people revere that as the, the blood of, uh, for Navajo people. Uh, and I think it's just beautiful because it's elongated, it's very fresh. And by the way, they're wildly comfortable. That surprised me because when, I, when I, 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 I didn't wear them until I stuck them on live, right? And I was like, oh my goodness. I'm like, oh, these are really comfortable considering it's a lot of silver. Um, let's say hi to Trisha. Trisha, Nebraska, thank you for joining us. Welcome, you're on with Jennifer and Suzanne. Hi, ladies. Hello. Hi. Thanks for joining us. Hi. Well, thank you. I am so happy on so many levels that I got to talk to you. And while I was on hold, I wrote my little list down. Um, <laughs> first, first of all, I am one-eighth Indian, and I was raised in South Dakota and raised to be very proud of that heritage. Even though um, there is discrimination there, we were raised to be very proud of that. Um, the other thing I want to say is I'm so happy that you make this jewelry and that you use the Native Americans to do it. I think that that's wonderful. Tonight I ordered three things. I ordered the Sleeping Beauty um, uh, dragonfly earrings and necklace nice. even before I knew they were Sleeping Beauty because <laughs> I love dragonflies. Oh neat, they're so, they're so pretty too. That's a really neat piece. Oh, oh they are. And then I'm always on the lookout for my brother who received an Eagle Award from the Native Americans, if you know what that is. Mm -hmm. It means that, that he contributed a lot to their um, 
well-being. He's in recovery, and he's helped a lot of them. Oh, and I uh, ordered the bolo necklace for him. Oh, before it sold for, out. For a Christmas present, because I know that he will enjoy that. Because he, it'll be, it'll be, it was made by Native Americans, and and that'll be really um, meaningful to him. Mm -hmm. And I, I just want to thank you for supporting the Native American jewelry. And um, I don't know. I just have so much to say, but I'll, I'll just <laughs> shut up now and, and let you talk. No, we enjoy your enthusiasm. It's also meaningful to me tonight. Yeah, thank you so much. It's much appreciated in prayers. Yes, uh -huh. absolutely. And thank you. And I think, too, you know, you can hear uh, uh, Trisha's passion for it, sharing it with others, including your brother, which is so neat, who's sharing his skills with Native Americans. And then we're also, I, I just go back to the fact that when you're purchasing these, yes, they're magnificent. You're going to love wearing these. They're super cool looking. But I think what really is so substantial and significant behind it is the people you're supporting. We want to keep this tradition going. Mm -hmm. We must have this tradition in our country. <laughs> we really do. Yes. And you know, I get on my little soapbox about it, but we absolutely must continue to, to, to support this because because it's, it's something we could never, ever be without. It's such an important part of who we are as a country and being able to support Native Americans who are so brilliantly doing this. And you don't want them to move to the cities and take on regular jobs. We want them to be these artisans for as long as we can. So there's so much more meaning behind it. And Tricia, thank you. I think you know, you're sharing some of that passion for, with all of us. So please remember that because the, we're supporting the artisans who are supporting their families because you're buying a piece of jewelry like this from us, which I love the story. All right, just quick reminder, if you didn't see our first hour, and we're starting to sell out of a lot of things, so a little heads up, we had what's called the nausea. This is a beautiful, beautiful pendant. We have two choices. We have your Kingman turquoise, and then this is the white howlite, also known as the... White buffalo. White buffalo. And it is, we have how many left in the white howlite? 12. Oh. <laughs> One, two. There's a dozen. So last dozen on the white howlite, and then in the turquoise, I have about 80 available. And you, if you want, you can buy the liquid silver necklace. You can see just a huge amount of turquoise. But if you didn't see last hour, this is one of the key really wow items from that hour. I just want to show you a couple things. Also, if you haven't seen the liquid silver, this is amazing to me. Hey, if you just want a really beautiful liquid silver necklace to go with all those pendants you have, or maybe a cross you bought from another line in Sterling or something like that, these are customer picks and they're unbelievable prices. Triple strand, lobster claw on the back, uh, or excuse me, spring ring in the back. We have 18 inch and we have 24 inch, only 3040 or 3540. That is phenomenal. Like, look how beautiful. What I like about the long one too is because a long necklace will completely transform any pendants you already own. And it can be from any line, if sterling silver or whatever it might be. I love the fact that 24 inch really, really changes the whole feel of a pendant when you're wearing it much longer. <laughs> so just want to give you a reminder, both those pieces. I love that. Howlite. I do. I kind of want the Howlite. <laughs> I, I really do. do. Black and white jewelry. It's like taffy. I mean, just looking at it, it's <laughs> like candy. It is like candy. <laughs> okay, so we've got another mm -hmm. ring we're going to talk about, and this is part of our ceremonial collection. This is going to be a pick pre quick presentation, but while it's not matchy matchy, I'm going to show you a pair of earrings and then watch this. I'm going to really blow your mind. I'm going to pull out the ceremonial cuff. Now, these, we we do, I just want to show you, this isn't identical, but if you really want to go for the ceremonial green color, I just want you to note that we have additional pieces that are available to go back to this, because it's so pretty. But tell us a little bit about these earrings, if you will. The, for, for the earrings, mm -hmm. you, with, for the ceremonial green turquoise, uh, if you didn't hear the story before, uh, I've said that there was a Navajo uh, medicine man had, that had gone to the Kingman mine, and... Um, he, he looked upon a piece of rough that was actually green and got that really green hue to it. And so when you look at it, you're gonna see that brown matrix that is in it that reminded him of snakes that were crawling in between the rocks. And so for the Navajo people, especially for snakes, it's used in their, their healing ceremonies. 
So when you see this, he, is, he said that the cer uh, ceremonial turquoise is going to be a, a, like a blessing. And so that's why he named it uh, the ceremonial turquoise from Kingman Mine. It's really pretty. All right. Uh, now, wait. Let's see. Oh, I have less than 100. So just a little update for you. We have 5 through 12. Here's another one where there's great customer reviews on this. The one gal just said, love, exclamation point. <laughs> love, exclamation point. Enough said. You got to wrap it up with that. Another one said, it's so beautiful. Now, this is really interesting. This person, and this is a true knuckle-to-knuckle -knuckle ring. I mean, it's going from one knuckle to the next, right? Um, very comfortable, though, and that's exactly what she said. She goes knuckle-to-knuckle -knuckle statement, but very, very comfortable. So I, I find there is something about the handcrafting of rings especially that make them very comfortable, even when they're very, very big rings. Especially when they're made uh, like that, the way it is... Um uh, I think back then they called it knuckle busters back then, but <laughs> <laughs> this no, one does not. No, buck, it doesn't, it doesn't knuckle bust it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is for this is for. I was told this is for women to have their hands out, and uh, so you don't hide anything. Like if you have your hands out on a fist, that means you're hiding something. So oh. this might go a woman so more it proper. So looks like your hands are out yes. when you're wearing it. Look at the gorgeous. <laughs> and just so you know, we did have several pieces that are that is the ceremonial turquoise in last hour we had this amazing cuff which we're just going to show you the cuff right now but look at this now it's not matchy matchy but i just want you to know it is ceremonial turquoise um it's uh 90 off and by the way in that cuff again because this is last hour wait till you see this we have the kingman blue isn't that something first time ever lowest price ever for flex pays exclusive it's it's not on sale because you don't love it you love it we just marked down it substantially for tonight's show and appraised value of 650 dollars yeah it's wow i mean this is really something special so just want to show you we had a couple other pieces that would include the uh, ceremonial green color and i love it i think it's <laughs> i think it's just one of the prettiest stones i like it so i pretty. i know what uh, georgia was talking about when she talked about the green turquoise i remember it used to be like an evergreen green Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Wow. I bet that's pretty rare nowadays. Huh? Yes, I, ha I have a strand that I actually bought at a yard sale. Stop yes. it. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> okay, so we've got a couple more things we're going to show you. In fact, oh, that's it? We're... This is going to be one of the fastest little stories ever <laughs> because this is another beautiful bracelet tonight, all done in sterling. And we have medium large, that's it? Okay, in small, medium, I have, which is five and a half to six, I have 100. And then in medium, large, which is seven to eight and a half, I have five. Yes, one, two, three, four, five, that's it. Now, this is another one of those pieces because our bolo sold out. There's two different cuffs that I would recommend if you're shopping for Father's Day or for a guy in your life. Or go, girls, we can always wear this stuff. But I think sometimes when you're watching, you might feel a little guilty when I get something for the guy. We had this cuff earlier, which is very intricate and I thought it was beautiful. It's more of an oval shape. And then it's got stamping on the outside and the inside. That was one option that I thought would look great in a guy. This is the other one that I think would be really really nice if a gentleman would like to have a big uh, turquoise bracelet you know what I really like about this one is I love the idea of stacking and layering beside it like putting other silver bracelets just straight silver bracelets yes. on on either side and really creating that voluptuous look on your uh, wrist I like it because the, the stones aren't really uh, perfect they've got that little bit of a, 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 a sideways look to it yeah yeah so pretty um, abstract. Wampus. Yes. But, I, but you're right, it is abstract. And I think there's just something really neat about that. Mm -hmm. I think, did you believe that the artist in this case kind of went with more of the shape of the stone? I would, I would think more of the shape of the stone because the way it looks, it looks like uh, instead of something being perfect and oval or round or square like we usually do, you know, nothing's perfect in life. And so uh, this, something like this would really come out uh, on a man's wrist and really highlight it. Beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous. And I love <laughs> girls. If you have, say, and you're so cute on this, on your wrist over here, I've been so admiring her wire bracelet. I don't, do we have it in stock? Yes, yes, oh, good. We do. <laughs> okay, so it's coming up some other time. But, like, for example, it's mm -hmm. not the exact match. Can we put them both together? Can you stick it on? Sure. Because I just love this whole idea of piling it all on. Yeah, and this is really how you start wearing it. You know, you do more pieces and more pieces. And imagine that. Or if you have some sterling silver, just, you know, a little, you know, thin wire pieces, you could 
just layer it all together. It's so striking. And I'll tell you what I really love. I especially love turquoise in the summertime because turquoise with white, yes. when you wear a white <laughs> outfit. The other day I have a five row nugget necklace, a turquoise necklace. I love this necklace. And I wore it the other day with white and it's I like just, the way it looks with, on your shirt. I know, it's different with pink. Yeah, nice. I wore my little pink easy tank. Oh, I got some updates, guys. Here we go. I told you, lots of things are going to sell out tonight. Oh, the dragonflies are all gone. That's Sleeping Beauty. Yay. You're so lucky. <laughs> that's, that's a rare find indeed. Okay, got a couple more things we want to feature, including, and I thank all of you for hanging out with us tonight, my ring, which we've talked about just a couple of brief times, but now we're going to give you the full story on it too. There's something really lovely about the simplicity of this ring. For me, it's like, if you've ever seen the pictures when the astronauts go uh, up in space and they take those beautiful shots back looking towards earth and you see that brilliant blue of the oceans that to me it just feels like it's been captured inside this turquoise stone it is a full cabochon it's an oval set on east west as opposed to north south which i think makes it a little more invigorating we have four flex pays five if you want to use your hsn card and sizes six through 12 this is a brand new piece tonight all right so tell us a little bit about this uh, this is made by navajo artist vera lee and um the ring represents east and west and the circle of life, and especially when the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. And so you have that combination of the the sun chasing the moon back and forth, mm -hmm. and it's like they say that the, the moon dies each and every night, so the sun can shine, which is a woman, each and every day, too, as well. Oh, that's yes. neat, really? <laughs> so the, sun, the sun's considered a woman? Yes. What's the moon considered? Well, but there's two stories. This is the, there's a story about the woman being a sun because she, she gives life to Earth. And for the, uh, for the uh, moon, it's also said to be a woman, but the darker side of the woman where she steals your beauty and you, you're not supposed to stand outside and stare at her too long. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Oh, that's awesome. Wow, that's really cool. Well, and I like it too because you'll see it's just a simple bezel set. You know, you've got, again, beautiful amount of sterling silver, uh, a little bit of stamping work on there too. It's a very, it's a simple ring, but it's very really elegant and simple. It's simplicity. mesmerizing just looking at it. It truly is. I mean, it really does look like you remember have you ever seen those pictures from space when yes. they're looking down and and the earth is so blue 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 in the mm -hmm. oceans it feels like it's like a mini like it's captured mini earth that <laughs> a mini earth on your finger yeah <laughs> and again this is brand new today we've never had it on the air um obviously you can see it works back here i'm gonna try to see if we got yeah, it looks pretty with that too. So if you picked up some pieces earlier and it's easy with turquoise, you know, you don't have to get too overwhelmed with, is it super matchy matchy or not? Let me see, is my, oh, here we go. I'm gonna go up here. You can do that if you want to. And we featured that last hour. If you missed out on it, it's still available. And I'm gonna grab my nausea right here. Ooh, there we go. Now I found yeah. it. I found it. I knew if I dug around enough, I'd find it. I love that combination together, too. And I hope you have just really enjoyed it. Um, I know there's a lot more pieces on um, hsn.com from the Chaco Canyon collection. And I do want to repeat this. We've got a couple minutes left, but I think this is super important to understand. They really stand behind their jewelry. Chaco Canyon does an amazing job, and they really stand behind their pieces. If you ever have any trouble... You ship it to them, you pay for shipping to them. They will fix it for free and they will pay to ship it back to you. And I don't think we talk about that, but can you elaborate just a little bit? I mean, that's simple. It's like if, you're, if you, your battery broke or either if you're not uh, uh, comfortable with your ring size, you can send it to us and we'll fix it for free. Uh, any, anything, any type of jewelry that we have. Right. And uh, you find us on uh, Facebook, on Chaco Canyon Trading Post or on Instagram on Chaco Canyon. Oh, that's well. awesome. Yes. Oh, check out the Facebook page. Are they pretty active on Facebook? Yes. Oh, they'd be uh -huh. really, do you see some of the artisans and stuff? Oh, you see some of the artisans. You see uh, their different inspirations that they have and some of the models, too, that we have on there as well. Do you really? Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh, that's so cool. So, again, Chaco Canyon. But I love the fact that they really stand behind all the pieces that they create. So if you buy it from us, you have no worries whatsoever. If you've got a problem with it, if you need it sized bigger, they're going to, you just send it to, you have to pay for the sending to them. But they'll do it for free, and they'll send it back to you. They pay to send it back and I love that so if you're buying from us and you're a little nervous because you're like I don't know I've never tried it before do not be really shop with a lot of confidence they're a fabulous company how long have they been creating jewelry well for the whole company itself like over 
30, 40 years. Is it really? Mm -hmm. Wow, mm -hmm. that's amazing. Yes. And again, all created by fabulous Native American artist uh, and silversmith who create these pieces for all of us through the Chocolate Canyon line. Well, Miss Jen, I gotta let you, you so go, much. baby doll. It's good to see you. When are you Been back? Here, um, at five o'clock. <gasps> five o'clock, can you have an yes. hour or two? Two. All right, yeah. and new surprises coming up. Lots of new. If you want to go to hsn.com, you can check out all the pieces on hsn.com and see the rest of the assortment. All right, here's some information on our HSN credit card. Miss Robin, she's in the wings with our today's special. Stick around. Are you ready? Shop like a VIP with the HSN credit card. Apply now and instantly get $10 off when you're approved. As an HSN card member, you'll get all kinds of perks like extra flex on jewelry, beauty, and fashion purchases all day, every day. Plus VIP financing, VIP easy returns, exclusive offers, and there's no annual fee. Apply now. Call 1-800-695-1418 or search HSN card at hsn.com. Worry about one less thing with our Protection Plus plans at HSN. Electronics, fitness equipment, even jewelry can be covered. Shop smarts and protect your purchase. It's easy to add when you're checking out. Search Protection Plus at hsn.com for more details. Don't miss a thing with our HSN app. Get $10 off your first in-app purchase with code WELCOME10. Opt in to push notifications for early access to exclusive app-only deals. Available on Apple and Android devices. We use goat milk because we had it, and that's how our company started. But what we learned over the years is how beneficial goat milk is, not only for the skin, but for your body. Goat milk adds moisture to your skin. It's really the most amazing ingredient. People really do notice the hydration of their skin. The farm to skin difference only with Beekman 1802. The thing I love most about shopping at HSN. Do I have to pick just one? I'd have to say FlexPay. Mm -hmm. It allows me to get the things I want now and make monthly payments without any interest or fees. I got a new mattress for the guest bedroom, a fabulous cookware set for my sister's wedding, and a little something just for me. FlexPay gives me the flexibility to buy what 